This video will demonstrate how to create your state timeline using a table in a Google document. Navigate to your Google Sites website. If you haven't bookmarked the, page, the site, you can always get to it by clicking on any of the Google Site links provided in the State Report Lesson Plan page. So I'll click on this one here. Once you're in your Google Sites directory and signed in, locate the Drive tab on the black bar along the top of the page. This will open your drive. Click on the red Create button and choose Document. In the upper left area of the screen, click on Unt Untitled Document to open a pop-up window where you can title your document. Name it with your state name, the word Timeline, and your last name. In this case, you'll recall the name of our student, our sample student, is Fake Student. So his last name is Student. The name of this document is Iowa Timeline Student. Then click OK. Just below the document title, click on the Insert tab and select Table. A little pop-up window will will open where you can choose how many columns and uh, rows you want. We'll select three columns and about 12 rows. You can always add or delete rows later on. Let's type the column headings. In the left column, United States. In the center, the word year. And in the right column, the name of your state. Go ahead and highlight the contents of the top row and center the text by clicking on this little center align tab just above the document. Go ahead and type in, oh, before we do that, let's um, make the center column narrower by dragging in from each side the column lines. That will make your center column narrower and give you plenty of room to type your contents in both of these columns. So go ahead and type in the contents you gathered previously. I'm going to open one that has the contents already typed into it, just to save us a little time. So once you have all of your contents typed in, we're going to do just a bit of formatting to make it look prettier. We'll start by highlighting the entire contents of the table and then click on this table tab over here and select table properties. We're going to change the background color of the cells. Remember when you add color the most important thing is that the table is still easy to read. So I will choose a light color. This pale yellowish orange color right here and click OK. All right, see how that looks? Looks nice. I'm going to make it even easier to read by highlighting all the text again and this time making it bold. Okay, that looks good. To make it, um, to make the column headings stand out, I'm going to highlight those, go back into Table Properties, and choose a darker shade of that same color there, hit OK. All right, so that makes the column heading stand out a little bit. So that's it. Check to make sure that all of your changes have been saved in Drive. And it's now safe to close this uh, uh, document. And it's listed here in my Drive. So when I'm ready to insert this into my Google Sites State web page, I can come and get it from here.